easy and delicious bacon pie recipe is guaranteed to be devoured in one sitting. Some people say that the bacon craze is over. They insist that all the recipes have been discovered and devoured and that we should move on to something new. These people respectfully are quitters. There is simply no end to bacon's greatness. Distant civilizations will find our bacon and wonder what a great people we must have been. Now, we've seen a lot of great bacon recipes in our day, from bacon French toast to bacon sushi, but we've never quite seen anything as bacon-tastic as this. Anyone who loves bacon is going to be obsessed with this recipe. To make this glorious bacon invention, you need to follow only a few simple steps. First, take out a regular old saute pan and grease it with cooking spray. You want to do this so your layer of parchment paper won't stick to the pan. Speaking of that, the next step is just that. Line your freshly sprayed pan with a piece of cooking parchment paper. Hint, cut it into a circle so it fits into the pan. Now here comes the fun part. Are you ready? Start laying out all your strips of bacon down across the pan. You want the strips to radiate outward from the center of the pan. They should all overlap a little bit at the edges too. Once that's done, start cutting up some potatoes into quarter inch thick discs. This image should give you a pretty good idea of the thickness. Just keep in mind that you don't want them too small or too big. After that, you want to lay each of the slices flat in a circle at the bottom of the pan. Try to overlap the slices exactly like you would when making scalloped potatoes. The best way to do this is by placing them in a spiral and working your way inward as you go along. Since the potato slices will be covering the pieces below them, make sure you periodically pause to season each layer of potatoes with salt and pepper. This is a part that's more to your taste. There will be plenty of salt in this recipe, but a little extra never hurt. From there, the deliciousness just keeps getting better. Next, you'll need to add some grated cheddar cheese to the mixture. Bacon, potatoes, cheddar cheese, that's right, all the good stuff right here in one pan. And once you've finished with the potato and cheddar layers, your next step involves folding the strips of bacon over the top one by one. The resulting concoction should resemble a sort of delicious blooming onion looking structure. Now place a small lid or similar oven safe object over the top of the pan and hold the ends of the bacon in place to keep it from curling back as it cooks. After the bacon is secured, slide the entire thing onto a baking tray and catch that yummy bacon grease. It will make cleanup a breeze. You'll want to bake your creation for about two and a half hours at a temperature of 350 degrees. When it's done, carefully take it out of the oven, watch out, it's hot, and flip it over onto a plate. Be sure to do this as smoothly as possible. Now for the big reveal. Remove the pan from the top and you'll see the beautiful bacony dish you have just created beneath. It will look like a cake. Can you believe that all that deliciousness could be packed into one creation? It might look like a cake, but this recipe is as easy as pie. A bacon pie, that is. It's technically a sort of casserole, I guess, and this thing is built to wreck your arteries with its amazing mixture of bacon, potatoes, and cheese. It's fattening, but it's worth it. Wow, you might have to go change your shirt now because you just drooled all over it. Clearly, these recipes were meant to be beamed into our brains and then into our stomachs. Share this with your friends below.